Questionnaires can result in highly reliable data because everyone answers the same questions. It is easy to replicate the research. It is highly reliable because you can replicate it, you can, you can do it again, you can repeat it again because based on the fact that the options are always going to be the same. So if, I'm, if A, B, C, D is available to you, A, B, C, D is available to me, to everyone. So it is, it's, it's highly reliable. The fact that respondents often remain unknown, anonymous, means that the validity of the research is improved, especially when it involves questions that might be seen as personal. You know, it's a, it's a questionnaire, which means you can remain anonymous. So nobody knows your, nobody knows your identity. As a result of that, you might be given a valid response. And that means it's highly valid. You're not going to be subjective because nobody knows whatever you say. There's also the less weeks that the respondent will give bias answers to try or try to anticipate what the researcher wants to hear because the researcher is not present. So it means you're, you're not going to be under influence or pressure by the researcher to give answers that you don't want to give. So these are the strengths or the benefits of pre-coded questions. One, they are easy to quantify. Two, they are, easy, they are quicker to put together and they are efficient. Three, they are highly reliable. And four, they, are, they have high validity. Yes. They will go to the limitations of questionnaires. One significant practical problem with questionnaires is a low response rate, where only a small number of those receiving the questionnaire return it. So the first problem about questionnaire is that people just, I, I might receive the questionnaire and just drop it somewhere. I won't return it. So not returning it is a problem because it reduces the number of response you get as researcher, but you need much response. That's why you gave it out in the first place. This can result in a carefully designed sample becoming unrepresentative because large numbers of people are not returning. So it doesn't give you the opportunity to generalize. You get the point there? The third one, because if it is, not, if it is unrepresentative, it means you cannot generalize. Or, okay, or respond incorrectly. Such a, okay, then another problem is giving a, a wrong response, and which you have to use, then you're not getting the right answer. Such as choosing two answers when only one was requested. So you have A, B, C, D. You're supposed to choose A. You choose A and B. That gives a wrong choice of answer. That gives a wrong response. The questionnaire, that's about that. The questionnaire format makes it difficult to examine complex issues and opinions. Another weakness is the fact that the researcher has to decide at the start of the study what is and is not significant. There's no opportunity to change this later on. So, Another problem is about the complexity because you cannot easily think about, know what the opinion was of that respondent and why he or she has chosen that point or what, why he or she has chosen that option. You wouldn't know because you're not there. And there's no you know, facial expression that would allow, at least give you that opportunity to, to figure out the mindset of the respondent. That was the first thing. Another, uh, that's another one. The, another weakness is the fact that the, side, the researcher has to decide. So whatever information you have, whatever questions you are asking, you, you have to ask it at the beginning. As soon as the questionnaire is being uh, drafted, you won't be able to change it. So that means whatever comes to your mind afterwards cannot go on with that. It will not be part of the response you get. Is it clear? So those are the problems about questionnaire one. You, it, the response rate might be low, you can't, because some people might just ignore it. <laughs> Two, it is, uh, the respond, uh, respondents might give a wrong answer, which does not really reflect what, why you are giving it. Give wrong answers, probably choosing two options instead of just one. And the opinion of people, you cannot really find, f figure out or find out why they have chosen what option they choose. And the last one is about the res researcher itself. The researcher might not be able to include more questions mm -hmm. if there, there's opportunity to include more because the, the questions are already sent to a poster. Yes. Is it clear? So those, that's about questionnaire, the strength and the limitation. Any question about that? So are questionnaires reliable, unreliable, or we don't know? So we check. The researcher has no way of knowing whether a respond respondent has understood the question properly. So the researcher also has to trust the researcher has 